I welcome you all to the lecture series on economic botany. In today's lecture, you are going to understand about the origin, distribution, cultivation and economic uses of saffron. The scientific name of saffron is Crocus sativus. It belongs to the family Hiridaceae. The common names are saffron, Keshara, Kunkuma, Aruna, Hasrika, Zafra, Kesar, Kunkuma, Kesari, etc. The part used is dried stigma. Saffron of commerce is the dried, trilobed stigmas of crocus sativus, a bulbous perennial plant. Saffron is one of the oldest and world's most expensive spices. Saffron originated from the Arabic word Zafran, which comes from the Persian word Zafaran, meaning flowers of golden petals. The principal coloring agent of saffron is the glucoside, crocin, and the bitter substance is the glucoside, picocrocin, besides which Crocotin and saffronal are the other main constituents. Saffron is a native of Southern Europe. It is cultivated in Spain, France, Italy, Australia, Greece, Iran, Turkey. Persia, England, India, and China. The La Macha Belt of Spain is the largest producer of saffron in the world, contributing to about 80 to 90 percent of the world's saffron production. In India, it is cultivated in Jammu and Kashmir. Attempts have also been made to cultivate in Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Arunachal Pradesh and the Northeastern region. The next aspect is cultivation. It is a temperate season crop and thrives well in cold region. Optimum day temperature of 15 to 20 degrees centigrade is requiring during flowering period. Night temperature should be 6 to 8 degrees centigrade. Saffron can be grown different types of soil ranging from sandy to clay low with good drainage. Season for saffron farming are in India, saffron combs are cultivated during the months of June and July and at some, um, some places in August and September. It starts flowering in October. It needs extreme heat and dryness in summer and extreme cold during winter. Maximum growth takes place during winters. Such weather is common in parts of Himachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir. Saffron is propagated by 
vegetative underground corns. Corn selected for planting should be 2 to 5 cm in diameter. Then planting of saffron plant is pits are dug that are 12 to 15 cm deep with an interplant distance of about 10 cm. The corns for saffron cultivation are planted directly into the dug pits. The surface is then covered loosely with soil. Compact packing is not done. It may restrict air circulation in the pit. Irrigation is not required after sowing the combs, but if there has been a long dry spell or prolonged drought with hot season, then irrigation may be needed. After that, apply the fertilizer. Apply 15 to 20 tons of the farmyard manure should be applied per hectare. Then apply nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium in the ratio of 50 is to 10 is to 50 kg per hectare. Saffron cannot be irrigated during the flowering season. It is grown as an irrigated crop in Spain. Well, it is cultivated as a rainfit crop in India. The next aspect is harvesting. It starts flowering within 3 to 4 months of planting. If planted in June, ideally they would start flowering by October. Harvesting of flowers must be done at the first appearance of light in the sky before sunrise. It is said that the flowers must be plucked between sunrise and 10 a.m. The stigma stands are dried under the sun for 5 to 6 days and then it is packed in a tight container. In case of solar dryers, it needs 7 to 8 hours of drying. The next aspect is economic uses of saffron. Dried saffron is 65% carbohydrates, 6% fat, 11% protein and 12% of water. This is the chemical constraints of the dried saffron. Saffron has a long history of use in traditional medicine. Saffron has also been used as a fabric dye, particularly in China and India. It is used for religious purposes in India. It is used as a flavoring and coloring agent in milk and milk sweets. It is used as a seasoning agent in cheese, meat, etc. They are used as a flavoring and seasoning agent in the Mughal cuisines. In Ayurveda, it is used for healing arthritis, infertility, liver enlargement and fever. It is commercially used in perfumes and cosmetics.
थैंक यू